Welcome to Harsh Reality Broadcast on the 5th of March 2013. It was not my intention to make another broadcast so soon after the last one, but I feel that I have to, as I am truly amazed how well the markets are doing. The time is 8pm in the UK and the FTSE index rose by 1.36% closing at 6,431. The Dow Jones index currently stands at 14,253. Regular viewers to my site will all have heard the song Debt Bomb. If you get a chance to look at my last video please listen to the words carefully, as the song reflects very accurately the financial problems experienced in the US and other Western countries. I would also like my regular viewers to make an extra effort to remember this broadcast because I truly believe that we are at a turning point. I have spoken to many people recently and optimism is in the air. People believe that the worst is over. As I have just mentioned, the song debt bomb truly reflects the position we are in. I would now like to recite some of the words. Run up a deficit, ignore the facts, blame someone else put up tax, I cannot deny we had, a crack, but now we have to pay it back. The truth is we have run up a truly massive deficit and we are ignoring the facts. I would like to take this opportunity to discuss human behavior. On balance many people do not behave in a rational manner, indeed their emotions cloud their judgment. I am a member of the senior management team within my organization and hold the position of head of human resources. Each member of the senior management team had to take the Myers-Briggs personality test to determine their thought processes. I was an ISTP. If you get the chance, Google Myers-Briggs and take the online test. You will be amazed on how accurate it is. It certainly gives you an insight to how other people think as each personality type has its own strengths and weaknesses. An ISTP such as myself is the most logical personality type, they reflect a lot, and their thought processes are based on pure logic. I can completely understand why people have personality clashes. If you were to put me with a person who is too emotional, believes in the supernatural and waffles on, I would soon feel suicidal. They on the other hand may find me rather boring and clinical. I would like to talk about belief systems. At this stage, I truly believe I will only get through to the logical thinkers. The people who rely on blind faith will not even make any attempt to see matters from my perspective. One thing I have learned, you cannot shift a belief system that has been indoctrinated since birth if you are a particular personality type. I was 11 years old when I questioned the belief system I was brought up in the UK. I went to a boarding school and was amazed that we were forced to go to church on a Sunday to kneel down and pray to an invisible God. Just imagine how strange that must appear to a logical thinking person, I often reflect on this. If I was not given the chance to compare and contrast other belief systems, would I still believe in the man-made God that I was forced to worship? Maybe I would not have questioned the belief system I was brought up in because I would not have had anything to compare it with. Interesting thought. Let me put the question in another way. If we only had the mainstream media, we would be more inclined to believe what we are told. However, today, we have the alternative media to give us balance. We are able to question our own belief systems by comparing it with others. I don't believe for one minute that the alternative media is 100% correct. But at least it gives us a different perspective. Again, think about this. During World War I, more people were inclined to fight for their country, because, in a nutshell, they believed the propaganda, and who could blame them? There was no balance provided as there was no alternative media. Today people tend to be more skeptical of their governments. Here is another thing that amazes me about human behavior. Have you ever watched a wartime movie and seen opposition cheer when a boat was bombed and sank? Reflect on this, ordinary people died who had families. In my opinion there is nothing to cheer about, but unfortunately we have been conditioned to celebrate. So, 
Does it surprise me that there are so many people who just do not get what is going on financially in Western economies? No, it does not surprise me. I understand that there are a lot of people who are out there that just don't want to know. They're happy in their own little bubble and have been dumbed down. Regulars to my channel know that I am interested in facts, and here are a few I am going to give to you. The US debt excluding unfunded liabilities has exceeded $16.4 trillion. Have a guess how long it will take you to count to $16.4 trillion counting a different number every second. Going to give you a few moments to think about it, try not to take too long, have a wild stab. It would take just over half a million years. Did you know that Congress ducked out of the fiscal cliff issue? All that happened was the automatic tax rises of 2% following a tax cut during the Bush administration. Did you know that they have delayed the issue of the debt ceiling? It was supposed to be dealt with at the beginning of March. It has been delayed until May. Did you know that the US government are pumping $85 billion per month that includes mortgage-backed securities? Did you know that the US and the UK have had their credit rating downgraded, yet the party goes on? The US and Europe are acting like an irresponsible adult. They don't want to face reality, they want the party to continue with unsustainable debt. The illusion of wealth to be maintained by increasing the credit limit. We are heading for a major crash, and it's being made worse by delaying the inevitable. I am going to repeat those words one more time from the song Debt Bomb. Run up a deficit, ignore the facts, blame someone else, put up tax, I cannot deny, we had a crack, but now we have to pay it back.